Howdy, stranger. Don't say howdy, stranger, to me. I'll be back. Yeah, I just started recording. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. You got me. We're back. It's... Ellie Fitzgerald and... The Two Minute Terminator podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Anita McKinley. It's episode 15. That means we are in minute 28 to minute 30. Sarah hangs up the phone in the bar where she was having a pizza, panically calling Ginger. Or was it the police station or Ginger? Police station. Damn. And no one was picking up. Well, no, no one picks up at the police station. No, she couldn't get through because the phone was out of fucking order. I know. I'm just testing you. I passed the test. The, the out of order test. You passed the test. You're out of order. You're out of order, McGronical. And I also did notice that that Mapson dude, who you literally fell in love with in the last episode. Daryl Mapson? Yeah. <laughs> You're out of order, Mapson. <laughs> he probably is her. He well, just stands there just staring at her, just like nodding. Well, if you knew the phone was out of order yeah. and someone's trying to use it, you'd be like, what an idiot. I'd probably just tell her. What a moron. Who is this? <laughs> Here. Who are she you? deserves to die. Bob Hoskins is on the phone in the tech noir. So, uh, yeah, she leaves. She leaves happens? one bar, she goes bar hopping, she goes to the Tech Noir. Tech Noir! Which I think, I guess you could, sug- I think the reason it's called Tech Noir is it's because James Cameron was saying that's what the genre possibly was. Mm. A technological noir. Noir is black, it's right? It's set at night. I think noir is usually set at night for noir. Yeah, well, noir means black. And it's the use of light and shadow. And techno. And yeah, technology. So it's the tech noir. So I think the reason behind the bar being called the tech noir is because of... Uh, Wasn't it an actual club, though? No. Are you sure? Well, I mean, we can look it up if you want to feel I think you should. I don't know why, but I, I swear that somewhere I've read that it was actually an actual club. Actually well, it's obviously an actual, an actual bar, <laughs> I think, yeah. But uh, I'm not sure. Actually. I don't think tech noir is... I think they, like, dress that, of course. I don't know why. This is something that confuses me. Yeah. So she's not been drinking, so she's fine to drive. Where the fuck's her moped? Why don't she just go home? Or well, go somewhere else? Well, you c- she could have been, theoretically, she could have been going to get her bike to drive over to Ginger's or go to the police. But she doesn't. She but just she sees goes bar hopping. She sees a man in a Mac, a flasher following her. But that's only after she leaves the pizza place to then go and find another phone. Eleanor? Oh, just, yeah. You were right. Yeah, I'm very right. Tech Noir is a club located on Pico Boulevard, Los Angeles. Yes, and the truth shall set you free. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Uh, yeah. There that was a legitimate smack, by the way. If you live in Los Angeles, you probably already know this, but uh, if you want to visit the Tech Noir, the bar from the Terminator, if it is still there, we'll find that out shortly, uh, is located on Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles, next to the Super Sea Ranch Market. I'm On the go. night of May the 12th, 1984, the club was the site of a shooting Ooh. as the Terminator from the future attacked, attempting to kill Sarah Connor. Oh, no. This is Terminator Wiki. We've been fucking had. No, it is. Uh, dude, I swear to God, it's a natural bar. The cover charge to get in is 450. The phone number from the payphone is 555-9175. And also... In the script, the club was named Stokers. And during the production, the film crew had to turn away would-be customers who thought Tech Noir was a real club that they'd just opened. I was right. Ha ha. <laughs> and the truth shall set you free. <laughs> oh dear. You right. dropped the ball, Eleanor. Well, thank God you were there to pick it up for me, Ethan. Well, I'm glad I was. <laughs> Tech Noir refers to a <laughs> film genre. Oh God, I was double right. Ah, oh, double win. Tech Noir refers to a film genre... Double fist pump. Double feed! Double feed, yeah. It refers to a film genre combining the styles of film noir and sci-fi. The films included nice. in this genre are The Terminator, Blade Runner. Oh, yes. It's a small genre. <laughs> uh, James Cameron coined them. Nice. He also gave the name for the nightclub. They should have made that into a real nightclub. Don't you just love it when I'm right? No. <laughs> And it's on the air as well. Ooh. Oh, well. I had a nice little victory dance to myself for a moment. You did. I felt victorious for a wee while. What you shouldn't feel victorious about is probably laughing. Yeah. Into the mic. Because it's horrible for the listener. 
You're horrible. If I can barely the wade through the crap we're spouting, terminate a week. I was at least a foot away. <laughs> Still just as loud. So yeah. So yeah, it's production design. It's not technoir. Oh. I'm sure it is a bar because it looks like a bar. But then again, a bar. A bar. A bar. Look at all these haircuts, man. Look at that mullet. Oh my god. I love what they were wearing. I wonder why that was a thing in the 80s, the mullets. I don't think it looked good. It looked good even then. Yeah, but all the rock stars had it, didn't they? You'd have the top short and then the sides and back. Well, ho it's hockey hair, isn't it, as Kevin Smith would call it. <laughs> hockey hair. Mm. It's a very expensive phone call considering she's had to pay $4.50 to get into a club when surely she can just find a pay phone. She's not, she's not so smart, you know. Well, she's ducked in it because she's seen Carl following her. Yeah. I would have just got on my moped and ridden away. Just flipped it over on its wheels and drove away. And the cops drive away just as the Terminator arrives. Not that the policeman will be able to do anything, really. Daryl's back. <laughs> Leering at the phone. Oh, no, we're back at the start of the clip. We're on loop. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think your brain's on loop. But no, it's the uh, first time we see Arnie in a while. Hmm. With the great side profile. Well, the last time we saw him, he was shooting Marianne. Full lips. Blah, 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 that actress woman. I don't know, what would you do in this Marianne situation? Marianne M. Really? I would have just got on my moped and just driven home. Yeah, but there's a freaky man following her. She thinks he hasn't Kyle got a is moped. the killer. Yeah, I know. I'd, I'd, that's what I mean. I'd get away double quick. Yeah, but she's going for a moped. Mm. She sees him following her and she ducks into the nearest place she can see that's open, which is Tech Noir, which is a few doors down. Yeah, that's what she does. I would have jumped on my moped. But oh, she's heading. To, forget it. <laughs> what would you have done, Ethan? Probably this. What else can you do? What can you do? Driven to the police station? Yeah. And not paid $4.50 to go into a club that I'm not even going to. What will four fifty be now? Like 11 bucks? $12? I have no idea. I've never even been to America. 10 English pounds. 10 English stay. pounds. I do love that woman's hair though. Which one? The, the one, one that takes her money. The, the one in the booth? Yeah, the booth. She's got some fucking Billy Idol-esque hair going on. Oh yeah. Right. And she's got a leather jacket on. This club looks really cool, man. I wish it was real. What with the chain link fence in it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks rad. Radical. Uh, the and song the music. playing yep. is photo play. Love it. The only problem is there's a lot of music in it, it does all sound the same. Well, the reason it sounds the same is uh, it's by Tiny Kane and the Triangles with a Z instead of an S. Triangles. Uh, they do about five songs on the soundtrack, but they all seem to be the same backing track with slightly yeah. different lyrics. Still love it, though. Gotta love that 80s cheese. The photo play episode. <laughs> You've got me burning. It's the same song. Is it? Well, it sounds the same. Actually, yeah, it does almost sound exactly the same. They all sound the same. <gasps> and here's Arnie. God, Arnie. he looks amazing in his um, leather-studded jacket. I wonder what the state of his career was at this point, because he'd done Conan. And it was I think kicking off, wasn't it? And he'd, he was contractually, contractually obliged to do the second Conan, plus three other films, because he was under contract to Dino De Laurentiis. I just wonder what... Had this Terminator not been a hit, would we have had Commando and all these subsequent films that followed it. I reckon this is probably what made his career, personally. This is the make or break. This was the make or break, and it made him. That's why he always returns to the well to keep doing Terminator. Even oh, though he's just stop. The latest fuck Meerkat! Why is he doing Meerkat adverts? Oh, the compare the Meerkat adverts. Yeah! Commercials. So bad, dude. Just drop it. Yeah, uh... What's the, what's the company? CompareTheMarket.com. If you type in that to Google and type in Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's done a series of adverts here in England uh, for an insurance company. He's sucking corporate cock, basically. Trying yeah, to get his uh, face out there. It's a bit crazy. What does he need the money? I don't know. I maybe, it was, maybe it was the lawsuit. How much would it cost to get Arnie for? to do that? M millions. Mil just one million? That's millions, plural. Two million. You can't pay more than two million for a commercial. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's the Terminator. Thing is, he's got a history of doing this, hasn't he? Because there's like, if you type in Arnold Schwarzenegger commercial, there's like, a, is it a litany? Did he ever do gay porn? 
Uh, no, that's Sylvester Stallone. Oh, okay. Well, actually, that's, you know, I'm not going to be smirched sly. Uh, it's the, <laughs> the, it's the, the Italian stallion. That's the, the film he made in, I think, 1972. I don't know. And he's just kind of like, you know, skipping around in a circle of people with his willy out. Uh, but no, I don't think Arnold did. Arnold did some like uh, nudie well, spreads for like. Well, magazines. he got his willy out at the beginning of this movie. He did. Why not waggle it in someone's? No, I th- well, face? he. I think he's done like naked photo shoots and things back in the day when he was like in his heyday. Yeah. But I think that was it. Maybe it was all the steroids. I just wonder how much he got paid for these, these commercials. But yeah, as I was saying, there's like a ton of like. Japanese uh, commercials of Arnold Schwarzenegger, which I sent you, I think, once. Oh, yeah, I think you did. There's one for, like, washing powder or something. But lots of, like, Hollywood stars do that because <laughs> they know they're never going to be seen in, I guess, the States and be embarrassed, and they get paid lots of money for it. I just can't imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger selling washing powder. Wash it. I have to admit, this story, it's kind of in two minutes. Why does it take two minutes to get to this club? It's quite strange. I mean, she could have just gone on a moped. <laughs> I'm never going to drop this moped thing. No, nah, she you, you would have gone in the club. Yeah. For safety, this dude's clearly following you. Look, he's looking for you. Plus, his pants smell like shit. Exactly. <laughs> how are they? He gets Shitty in the club. Shitty pants. In the next scene, does... he's in the club. Yeah, where's his Where's his $4.50? He stinks. Where's his four fifty? He stinks. <clears throat> Ew, he stinks. Unless he's snuck in the back. <laughs> Into the sea. Into the sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone back. We've gone back. Oh, he's gone We're back. only going to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got anything to add? The haircuts, the mullets, the tech noir, which is actually a fake club. I just love the outfits. I wish I'd been of, of age in the 80s. Unluckily, I was... Well, I was born in 89. Well, you still look 80s now. I don't. There'd be no internet. <laughs> what the hell would you do? What would I do? What would, what would I do? <laughs> Well, you've got for TV is the A team and Ghostbusters. That's a plus point. Uh, yeah. When was um when were all those shows like uh, oh, the Man from Uncle and uh, sixties and seventies. Prisoners, <coughs> the Prisoner. Sixties. Randall and Hotkirk. Sixties. Oh, okay. So they're like, right. Well, they're like ITC things. They did like uh, Jason King and Department S and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The A was the A team, Airwolf, Street Hawk. Blue Thunder. That was kind of a B list. Although the film's really good. Uh, what else? I don't know. I don't think I must have watched many 80s shows. Riptide. <laughs> <laughs> That's more your era, darling. Yeah. Apologies, guys. There's not a lot one can really say as an actress walks in between two uh, licensed establishments <laughs> a pizza place and then a nightclub. Vote Tech Noir to be opened. Yeah, Pico Boulevard. Get down there now and go to a fictitious nightclub that doesn't really exist. Yeah, let's make this shit happen. And for Ethan McKinley's questionable, if you need to send in a voice clip or an audio or even a question or some trivia. Or a photo of you dress up as a Terminator. Yeah, send more of those in. We need like a tumbler of all the people like in cosplay Terminator outfits. That's what the prize, that's the, what the competition should be. What? Whoever looks the best, lose, well, whoever makes the most effort, yeah. wins a mug with Wins a first-class flight to England to be on this show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ellie will pay. <laughs> guaranteed. Guaranteed. No, guaranteed. guaranteed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, that's a wrap, I think. Two Minute Terminator. That's number two minute Terminator at gmail.com. If you want to find us on Twitter or <laughs> Facebook. I wish you could see these eyebrow movements there. It's uh, 2T, <laughs> Two Minute Terminator. For both Twitter and Facebook, find us, send us some stuff, and show us some love. And in the meantime, episode 15 has come to an end, because I've really run out of stuff to say. Yeah, same. <laughs> we played music in the background, for God's sake. <laughs> but do come again. Episode 16 will be epic, because the Terminator turns up in the Tech Noir. Yeah! That's Actually, when we start to see gunfire. Is it not? He's got to go to Ginger's apartment first. <gasps> And throw Matt first, through the double door. Our first man's going to be murdered. Murdered. Join us for bloodshed. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'm stupid in my head. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger.